What is up, y'all? Cheeseburger TWR is back for another cheeseburger review, round 69. Fight. Welcome back. Had to let that one marinate just a little bit here. Cheeseburger TWR Tuesday. Uh, number 69, we all know what that means. It's funny because I used to think that it had one meaning. I guess I thought it was all the way, and it wasn't all the way, if you will. Uh, I never understood how the bases worked, like first base, second base, you know, baseball. I'm a baseball fan, but, like, I just, I don't know. That's just... <laughs> I guess we'll just stick to cheeseburger reviews. Uh, I will say, you know what, these last couple days, I, you know, woke up and looked in the mirror and it's like, man, I am just feeling me these last couple days. So uh, I hope you're feeling me as well. And again, on number 69, if you will, uh, I actually do wear jersey shirts underneath here. So uh, the one that I'm wearing actually has a 69 on the back today. But uh, maybe we'll get into that a little bit later if there is kind of a Q&A, if you guys give a shit. But anyway, uh, I did uh, DoorDash from a particular restaurant, or is it a ghost kitchen? I'm not really sure. I was uh, a bit confused when I got my order today, but I did get the... NFT melt from Crypto Grill. Uh, I did think it was a standalone restaurant, but apparently it is a virtual kitchen that is inside of a Lefty's cheesesteaks in Sterling Heights, Michigan. Um, that's the only reason I would have known because on DoorDash it didn't say it was a virtual kitchen or a ghost kitchen or whatever. So, I mean, it's fine, but just be straight up with me because, you know, we did lefties and it was fantastic. But yes, I did get the um, the NFT melt. Apparently, NFT stands for non-fungible tokens. And uh, this crypto grill, it's new. Uh, I saw the logo for it. It said established 2022. And that just might be this year. Which, hell, we've only got 11 days left. Tomorrow's the first day of winter. Crazy stuff. But yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and take a look. Uh, they did still customize the bag for me. They ripped it to hell too. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, Cheeseburger TWR. Look at that love. All the love in Southeast Michigan. And uh, yes, I did get the NFT melt. I got some uh, Cajun curly fries, which were fantastic. I actually finished them all before I got on here. Uh, I was trying to research the lefties cheesesteak situation, and I wanted to verify what NFT stood for. Not really a crypto guy over here. I think a lot of it is just taking the old, but I don't know. Um, <laughs> don't come to me to fix your finances. But yeah, so uh, this is pretty much a patty melt, and uh, my God, it's a looker. So, yes, we've got some grilled rye bread. Um, maybe not grilled. It's just a little toasted. It's got a nice, I mean, it's so buttery on the top. Like, I could do the old Kramer butter shave with this one. But, yeah, so we've got some nice rye bread here. Got those great caramelized onions. Look how melty that cheese is in there. I just, like, I'm salivating back here. That's I'm holding this up here so you can't see me salivate. So I will Wilson. I will continue to Wilson back here for you, Home Improvement. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you might. But anyway, yeah, we'll go ahead and unbread this for you, unbun. But yeah, I'll look. Just look at all of those caramelized onions. Uh, looks very good. And uh, again, we've got the the beef patty there, the burger patty, and then we've got more caramelized onions. And look at that. Look at that nice, gooey, melty cheese. Now, it said American cheese, and it said Swiss on there, too. Oh, it's, it smells so good. This actually reminds me when I had um, uh, New York Deli up the road for me, and it was just very good. And just, like, just if you could see the grease glistening on my fingers, then. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, we're just, I guess I'm excited for this one. Sorry, I didn't, I mean, obviously, I did lefties before, but uh, we're just going to go ahead and get after this and see what's up. Uh, again, Crypto Grill. Ghost Kitchen, virtual concept, whatever. Uh, two chomps to you, all on Z. Happy Cheeseburger TWR Tuesday, and uh, let's get after it.
I feel like these napkins look like they just like raided the bathroom for these. They're like, ah, this fat fuck needs some napkins, so. There, get them for Tubby, huh? They did give me some ketchups too, but like I just want to try to eat it how it is. I mean, it's pretty good as is, so. Cheers, Alonzi. Mm -hmm. I get, this might sound weird, but like I'm getting excited that like the butter is chapsticking my lips. That's what she said. But it just, like I am gonna, my lips are gonna be, my lips are gonna be so moist and whatever for the entire winter that begins tomorrow. Uh, it's fantastic. So yeah, no, uh, this burger, the bread is very buttery and like when you bite into it, you get like a good greasy kind of bite. The onions are fantastic. Uh, you know, very caramelized. It's got a nice caramelization on there and say caramelized again, Tubby. But uh, yeah, it's got a good caramelization. The beef patty is pretty tasteless. I wish they would have like put some salt and pepper on there or perhaps some spices. The cheese is very good and melty and yeah, the, the burger like it's pretty decent quality, but again, they could have, you know, put some like Montreal steak on there or some kind of seasoning, some kind of, you know, give me some S&P on there. Uh, very good. I'm going to go ahead and take one more bite. Uh, maybe I'll just glean some of the cheese off of here. Mmm. And again, another restaurant drink. Diet Pepsi, if curious. Um, yeah, so it's pretty good. Um, I'm glad I got it from there. Um, I'm guessing they use like the same beef for the same ingredients that uh, Lefties uses. Uh, this is very good. And um, for all of the aforementioned reasons, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a top 10, uh, four out of five. I feel like what would have brought it up a little more would be if the, the beef patty was actually seasoned. And like a lot of what you get is just kind of the, um, just the, the greasiness of it. It kind of just like takes away from some of the flavor. And I just feel like there's just something, just maybe a little touch of something. Like maybe put a little sriracha on there or just like put a little sauce. Like don't leave it to cheeseburger TWR to sauce your sandwich, to sauce your burger because... I'm here to taste as it is meant to be tasted. So, ah, number 69. So with that said, uh, if you did go ahead and like this content, give me that big thumbs up. But uh, we're still doing this here. And it's funny, my brother tagged me in something on Facebook yesterday. Apparently Hacksaw Jim Duggan saved somebody from something. So another ode to the great man, post game belt. Sorry about that. But Give me your best hacksaw, Jim Duggan. Ho! Oh, 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 oh. Smash that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Or right, comment below. Have you ever had Crypto Grill? I think maybe it's just a Michigan thing. Uh, again, I had no idea that it was a virtual kitchen or a virtual dining concept, whatever they call those nowadays. A ghost kitchen? Are we still saying that? But anyway, uh, very good. Top 10, four out of five for this one. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, go out and try it. All of the ghost kitchens, go out and uh, try them and, you know, just give them a go and uh, give them some business. Everybody is still kind of hurting from all this inflation, but always just look at the bright side. Shine brightest on the darkest day tomorrow. And with that said, this is where I leave you. Thank you and take care. Be memorable or be forgotten. Love y'all. Take care. Bye-bye.